Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number three. And in this tutorial, I am gonna show you guys how to upload files to your website. So we're gonna be using the file manager for that. Uh, so go ahead and click on the icon or click on the link and that is gonna open up in a new tab. Uh, so this is just how uh, cPanel likes to work things is it opens this up in a new tab. Uh, but this should look really familiar to you because uh, this is supposed to look like the Windows File Explorer or uh, Finder on a Mac. Uh, so if I take a look at this over here, you see we've got uh, this directory tree to the left and over here I've got a directory tree to the left or over here uh, and once you click on it it shows all the files to the right so it's the same thing that's going on here is you got your directory tree and you got your files and your folders over here uh, then we've also got some navigation so this will take me back to the home which I'm already there right now so that's why it's disabled um, if I go down a folder I can go I can always go up one level or back and forward using the navigation over here uh, reload is kind of useful for when you want to reload everything that's in this section. So after you've uploaded some files, uh, go ahead and click reload and that's just going to reload uh, this box with all the files. Uh, you can select all or unselect all and so on. Uh, so basically uh, this is just a file manager but in the browser, right? Uh, and you can see we've got a toolbar at the top to upload, or uh, add new files and folders or upload fold, uh, folders and files, or we can uh, restore, delete and so on, but uh, something has to be selected at that point when you wanna delete. Anyway, don't just delete stuff that's over here, please. Uh, <laughs> we need to go into public HTML. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And you can see that's opened up the public HTML directory here. And public HTML uh, is where we want all the folders that or all the files that we want users to be able to see uh, need to be uploaded to our public HTML directory so that that, uh, that is what users see when they visit the site. And you can see right now I've got an index file over here and there's also a CGI bin which uh, is empty. But let me go up a level here and I'm gonna just delete these files. So this index.php file is the coming soon page that's currently displaying. And I'm gonna get rid of that and upload my own file. So let's select them, click delete, trash the files, bam, they're gone. If I go back to the domain, josiecorp.com and refresh, you can see it now says index of, and there's nothing here. Uh, so basically what is happening is because there's no index page, the uh, browser is trying to give me a list of any other files or folders that might be in uh, the public HTML directory. And the problem is there aren't any, so nothing showing up. But if there was something, uh, then we'd have a few uh, files showing up here. And if there was an index file, then instead of showing the index of the directory, it would actually uh, load the index file that I place here. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna upload my own index.html file, and I've already created it. It's the most awesome website in the world. Uh, basically just the standard HTML5 template that you would have learned to, how to, to make in my previous tutorials. Uh, and um, yeah, we've got a title, I'm about to go live on the internet, and we've got a heading that says, OMG, I'm live on the internet! So just make sure that, uh, oh, I'm, the only reason I'm reading that out is so that you guys can see it, um, because I'm gonna upload it, and I want you to see the same thing over here. Did I just, wow. Okay, let's put you back there. <laughs> I just pulled it out of its uh, place. Anyway. Uh, so what I want to do now is upload a file. So I'm going to click on upload and that's going to open a new tab. Um, and I'm going to drag my index.html page that I want to upload into this box. And there we go, it's uploaded the file. So if I come back to uh, my file manager and I hit reload, I can see that my file is now here and I can see the file size, the time and date it was last modified was today at 808, which is <laughs> the time right now. Uh, and then we've got permissions, which I'll uh, talk about quickly 
um, after this. But let's quickly refresh this page. So I'm gonna hit refresh and you can see, OMG, I am live on the internet. So that is uh, my index page showing up on the server, which is pretty awesome. So now people can see my website. Um, and yeah, if I go ahead and highlight or click on this file, you'll see I can also uh, copy it, move it, uh, download it, rename it, uh, or edit it in one of the code editors. So there are three editors here. Uh, there's code editor, HTML editor, and the normal editor. Uh, and this is gonna look, I guess the closest thing to, to look like a code editor would be the one that says code editor. Uh, and so yeah, if you ever wanna edit files directly on the server really quickly, you can go ahead and uh, click on that. But I usually just download files and then work on them in Sublime because it's you know much easier to use and then I'll upload them again uh, back to the server. Uh, then we've got uh, permissions. So uh, by default, permissions for files are usually 644. Uh, so let me, uh, highlight this, click on permissions, and you can see uh, we're able to change that. So permission right now, 644, uh, but as soon as I start ticking more of these boxes, these numbers change, right? Uh, so basically, if the file is read only, in other words, nobody can edit it, then it would be 444. Uh, and 444, obviously, that's what you want people to have if you want them to be able to see the file. If the file is forbidden and you don't want them to see it, uh, you go ahead and make the file permissions 000. And uh, now when I come back here, you can see uh, index.html is forbidden. So you're not allowed to have access to it. Uh, and obviously we don't want that to happen on our site. So let's go ahead and just change permissions uh, to be at least read only. Uh, but the user, uh, should actually have write permissions so we can go ahead and modify this uh, file. But uh, we don't want other people to be able to modify the file um, if they gain access to the server somehow. So uh, we will leave those boxes unticked. And then executors, if you ever have an executable on here, which you really shouldn't, uh, <laughs> then you can uh, enable execution and um, that will allow files to be executed. And I actually, ha I recently had a, a an issue where images need to be in an executable folder, which is interesting, but we'll get into that <laughs> another time. So yeah, that is how to use uh, this file manager. Uh, and I realized I just skipped compress and extract. So uh, compress, if I highlight this and hit compress, is gonna make a zip file of the uh, file that I've um, just selected. So I could go ahead and click compress and obviously extract would extract the file, but I'm not gonna bother about doing any of those things uh, because you guys know how to unzip and zip files. Uh, so that's just available in this file manager if you ever wanna do that. And that is all I have for you in this video. So don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like and share this video. It's really gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.